Hi my dear fitness friends, today I have for you both a product review and a full body workout. But before we get to the full body workout, we're going to do the product review. I was reached out to by a company called Ginger Armor. Ginger Armor is a face sunscreen and moisturizer and it is a really nice product. It is a company that was started by Skylar Brady, and he is in fact a ginger when he has red hair. He started this company because he works in landscape and he lives in California. So as you can imagine, he is needing sunscreen all the time, but he was having issues with finding sunscreen that was sustainable, good for his skin, didn't burn his eyes, wasn't smelly or oily. He struggled to find something that he wanted to reapply to his face on a daily basis. So he decided to create his own sunscreen. So I'm gonna to read to you the points that this ginger armor has. It is natural concentrated spray for everyday use on sensitive skin. It is vegan and animal cruelty free, anti-inflammatory and antioxidant. It's quality ingredients and it's made in California. You can't see, smell, or feel it. So by buying this product, you are also supporting your healthy self-care, which we, you know we are all about here, and your planet and your animals, and it is small business. So you're supporting a small business that's made here in the US. So I got this product, they sent it to me, and I did try it out yesterday. I want you to keep in mind, my thought on this product was I can't wait to try this at the beach with my kids because that is one battle that we fight <laughs> all day long is reapplying sunscreen every one to two hours, especially when they're in and out of the water. And my kids complain that it burns their eyes, they don't like it oily, sticky feeling on their face. So I tried it out yesterday. I actually did four hours of yard work yesterday, which by the way, Skylar is, must be pretty tough because my back is sore. That's a lot of work. <laughs> so props to anybody who works in outside and does a lot of landscaping. Um, I tried it out, it, you should told to shake it, spray to your hand and put directly onto your face. I can say I didn't smell anything, I didn't feel anything. Mikey and I both used it yesterday. I reapplied one time because remember I am in Pennsylvania and it is only March. So the sun is not that direct yet, I was not sweating. Um, but it did, as you can see, I did not get sunburned and it worked really well. And I will say, I will be definitely trying this on the beach this summer with the kids. Um, they also sent along a little travel size spray. You just twist and it pops up for you to spray into your hands. This one's gonna go in my purse. So, any questions, please drop me a comment. I will refer you to the link. I have a link there with my name in it. It will give you 10% off. You click that link, it'll take you to a code which you can copy and then shop on gingerarmor.com and Try it out if you want. Um, okay, any questions, like I said before, drop them in the comments. Let's get on to the workout. Today's workout is a full body workout. It is five by fives and Tabatas. I will be using my dumbbells, my kettlebells, my barbell, um, and my plyo box. And I believe that is it. If you want, you can totally make modifications and do this entire workout using your dumbbells. That's always welcome to make those adaptations and changes and your own choices to challenge yourself today. You know, I always support that. So we have a four minute, as many rounds as possible warm up. If you need more than that, as always, push pause, get your body all warmed up and ready to go. And then join me on the mat for this workout in just a minute. I will see you there. All right, you guys, I am ready to get this workout started. We have a walkout, push up, runners, lunge, of course. Then we're gonna go into a down dog, single leg knee tuck to pigeon to a seated side stretch, back bend, and then hop it up for the other leg, five pop squats, and we'll repeat. We're just gonna flow through that as many times as we can in four minutes. I'm gonna have our clock beep every minute on the minute, as I usually do, just so we know where we're at. And your 10 second countdown is on. Turning that timer up. Take a nice deep breath. One. Inhale, arms come up high. Forward fold, feel that nice stretch in your hamstrings, walk it out, get your first push-up of the day, get all the creaks and cracks out, step into that runner's lunge, twist and open it up, get the other side. Why don't you walk your hands back a little bit for your down dog? We're gonna get a single leg raise, so I'm going with my right knee to nose, then drop that knee down and go into a pigeon pose. We're only gonna be here for two breaths. One, 
to then go to a sit. Raise your arm up above your head. Twist to open and stretch that side bend. Bring your right hand back down and go into your back bend. Sweep that hand back down and back up into a down dog with a figure four. And then go ahead and put that foot back down. Raise your right left leg up. Knee to nose. Pigeon pose for two breaths. And go into your sit. Bring that leg in. Reach up and over. Twisting through your thoracic spine. And put your left hand back down on the mat into a little mini back bend. And down. And we're gonna walk it all the way back up. Get our heart rate up a little bit with five pop squats. So one, two, three, four, five. Hands up tall, forward fold. Walk it out, get a push up. <coughs> Creaks and cracks all out. Runner's lunge, twist to open, down. Runner's lunge, twist to open, down. Into down dog, going with my right leg first again. We're gonna move a little bit faster into your pigeon pose. One deep breath into your seated stretch and into your back bend and back down. Think your four down dog and the other leg. Knee to nose, pigeon stretch. One deep breath into your seated stretch. And back bend. Hand comes down, figure four down dog. And then foot comes back down, walk it up. Five more pop squats, we have one minute left. Two, three, four, five. Last minute here, walk it out. Take a moment to check in with yourself. If this warm up is not giving you what you need, use this last minute to get what you need before you pick up some weights. Down dog, right leg up, knee to nose, pigeon to stretch, to back bend. You can make this as dynamic as you need, or hold it as long as you need. You have about 15 seconds left. And pop squats to the end here. Three, four, Five, nice job. Okay, we're starting with our first superset five by five. We, all this workout is going to be these five by fives that are supersets paired with either a yoga pair, or I'm sorry, Tabata pair, or a true Tabata, okay? So our first five by five superset is kettlebell high pools and around the world leg drops. So I'm gonna do my 12 pound dumbbells and my 60 pound kettlebell. For the high pool, using the momentum of the deadlift, all in one big movement. Five reps, let's go. One, two, three, four, five. Set that down, grabbing my 12s, which are a little bit heavy for this move, but make it doable. Legs are up, hands are behind your legs. Drop the legs around the world arms. One, two, three, four, five. Bring it down, back to your high pulls. These five by fives are going to fly. One, two, 
four, five, seven down, around the world leg drops, weights are up, legs are up, one, two, three, four, five, set it down, round three, you know what I say about round threes, get on it, one, two, three, four, five, drop it, let around the world leg drops, get in position, One, two, three, four, five. Round four, just like that. This one we are not adding them together. We might add four and five together in a couple of these five by fives, but this one we'll just keep it straight up five by five. One, two, three, four, five. Step down. Let's go. One, two, three. Four, five. Last round in our first five by five. One, two, three, four, five. Sitting out of the way. Keep your area clean. Legs up. One, two, three, four, five. Drop it down. Okay, we're moving straight on to our first Tabata pair. We have yoga tricep push-ups and goblet sumo squat pulses. So you're going to hold your, your goblet weight and stay in that sumo squat and pulse by squeezing your glutes for as long as you can. If you hit failure, which is always winning in my book, you do a plank hop, okay? Get back into it. When you outwork yourself in a workout, that's winning. Yoga tricep push-ups are up first. I'm gonna go with my 40 pound kettlebell for the goblet pulses. So yoga tricep push-ups, elbows in, butt up, face down, and switch. It's kind of like going from a chaturanga to a down dog position, except I'm not flipping my toes. Nice work. You're getting into that goblet hold, so you power clean your weight up, and then squat down for your pulses. Power it up, squat it down. Pulse by squeezing your glutes. Breathe it out. Remember, failure is a plank hop. Little tiny pulses. Three, two, one, drop it off. Back to yoga tricep push-ups. By the way, if you think I look like an Easter egg, you're not wrong. <laughs> we are very, very close to Easter. This weekend is Palm Sunday for us. So that makes Easter two weeks away. So Easter color and Easter vibes are what I'm feeling. <laughs> Springtime. 
sunshine weather. I mentioned Mikey and I were outside for four hours yesterday. It was beautiful. It was like 55 degrees, sunny. Power it up, pulse it out. We got about half of the major yard work done. And my goodness, that is hard work. Three, two, one. You're doing a lot of edging of our like mulch areas. So all of that edging is really, really heavy <laughs> grass and dirt. We didn't even get the mulch yet. <laughs> But we do this kind of work so that we are capable and strong enough to do all the other work, whether that's physical, mental, emotional. We look at these challenges, we take them on, we face them. We endure. We make choices to go after it, to accept the challenge, to use it as an opportunity for growth. Use your breath. how capable you are before you start a workout. Think of how much more capable you feel when you're finished. How much more belief you have in yourself, of your abilities, how much less doubt you have. Three, two, one, holy quad burn. <laughs> Set it down. We're on to our next five by five. We have a burpee, box jump, and a double arm snatch. So, grab my five box, checking in on you. How are you doing? Setting it up. Double arm snatch, I'm going to 25s. And the plyo box, I'm going with my 24 inches. Start with that burpee, box jump. You can do a burpee push-up or you can do a competition burpee, it is up to you. But make sure you're ready to actually do a plyo box jump before you do it. If you're not ready, you make a decision to do any other plyometric move at the top of this burpee. Four. Five. Double arm snatches for five. One, rack it to your shoulders. We want to engage those lats. Two. Three. Four. down, round two, burpee box jump, one, two, three, Get into these reps like meditation. Five, 
more double arm snatches. One, two, three, four, five. Round three. Pay attention to how you're talking to yourself. If you're making any modifications or changes, do it with authority and do it with gratitude. Three, four, Double arm snatches. Love yourself where you're at today. You're never gonna hate yourself into change. One, two, three, four, five. Burpee box jump, round four. And five, we are adding together. So we have 10 reps. And then you'll be out of the superset. One. Two. Three. Four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten. Double arm snatches, ten reps. Put anything that you don't need today in your sweat drops. Let it fall to the mat. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, Not easy. I know, but that's what we came here for. We didn't come here to rest. We didn't come here to do easy. Okay, we have a true Tabata coming at you. A staggered push-up, single arm offset, kettlebell deadlift. So, staggered push-up, hop up, kettlebell right here next to you. You're picking it up with one hand, okay? I'm going with my 40. I'm gonna hit start right away. You get to decide, do you wanna stay on the same side for four rounds or if you want to alternate sides or if you wanna do two and two, it is your choice. This is your workout. I just want you to take up all your space, stand up tall, take a big full push up, whether it's from your knees, set it down, or from your toes. You are the star in this story. I'm switching to my 60 because I think I can. And I'm not afraid of feeling failure and going back to my 40.
you are the star in your narrative. You get to decide who you want to be. If you're experiencing self-doubt, fear, anxiety, stress, the whole world is. Everybody experiences that. You get to choose what to do with it. Today, I'm choosing to put that in my sweat and gain more belief in myself. How am I doing that? I'm preparing. This is preparation. I'm not doing offset, staggered, burpee, deadlift to be the best at it in the world. I'm taking it as an opportunity to show myself how much I can do. How much I can pick up and set down. With a tight core, a strong back. Switching sides. I do this day in and day out because it's part of who I am. I'm not quite Julia until I have moved my body in some way. It doesn't always have to be lifting weights or Peloton. It can be yoga, it can be meditation, it can be prayer. There's so many ways to practice, to take opportunities. But this just happens to be one of my favorite ways. <laughs> let these actions, let these reps build up and help define part of who you are. You're a person who believes in being strong, who believes in taking up space, who loves themselves enough to dedicate a precious commodity like time into self-care. It's a precious commodity. You don't get it back. You're doing exactly the best thing you can with that right now. And it's not just for you, it's for all of the people around you too. They benefit, they benefit from you doing this. Okay, we're on to another five by five. This workout is just flying. Okay. Third super set five by five. Single, single, double chest press and star jump burpees. So star burpee is where you do a plank jack push up at the bottom dynamically as, as much as you can and a star jump at the top. Single, single, double chest press. You all know what that is. <laughs> so I'm sticking with 25s for that, get this kettlebell out of the way, get on your back or on your bench, load those dumbbells up to your legs, kick them up into position safely. Let's get it going. Single, single, double, that's one. Two. Three, four, five, bring it down, set them out of your way, so you have room to do your starboard beats. Always carefully move your weights out of your way. Be in tune to how you pick things up and put them around. <laughs> Let's go. Start jack at the bottom, hop it in. Start jump at the top, that's one. Two. Three. Four. Five. Back 
tiana. Single, single, double. Chest presses. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Bring them down. Carefully keep them out of the way. Start our these again. One. Two. Three. Four. Round three, we don't talk about for now, we don't talk about round three. Let's go, get right in it. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Back to star rubies. Your chest might starting to be feeling this fatigue and this dynamic star jack push up. How do you get better at it? We endure and we do more of it. Let's go. One. If you need to lighten your weight, I encourage you to do it as a drop set. So do your five with your heavy weight and then drop your weight to finish it off, okay? Also, when you're working out at home, you might get distractions, interruptions. You take what you can, put it aside till later. If there's something that needs your attention, you push pause and give it your attention and then get right back to it. It's a wonderful thing to be needed, okay? Let's go. Turn to gratuity. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Bring it down. By the way, those text messages came and I could tell that it was Justin because he sounds like one word per text, and it'll be like five texts for one sentence. 10 star jump burpees. One. Two. Three. Four. Okay, I'm proud of 
of you for sticking with it. Those 10 reps are hard. But they remind you that you can do double the amount than that you think you could, or that you thought you could. <laughs> okay, to body pair. We have alternating barbell reverse lunges paired with switch lunges. <sighs> you guys are doing amazing. <sighs> Give yourself credit for doing the hard work. <sighs> Don't stop now. Let's keep going. 10 second countdown is on. <sighs> Get ready to load that bar up. Three, two, one. These clean and presses are part of the workout. Nice, deep, strong, alternating reverse lunges. On load. Switch lunges. I know, I'm kind of mad at myself about this too. <laughs> I don't want to do them either. But we are because it's a challenge that you know you will be successful with. And if you're not, you skip a jump. You do a reverse lunge and you get back to your plyo. And you give yourself credit for outworking, not for failing. You outworked, that's it. Use your breath. Unload safely. Let's go. Chase after that quad burn. Don't fear it. Take a deep breath and oxygenate it. Throw some oxygen on that fire. You're already halfway through this to bottom here. Reverse lunges. strong, you're capable, you're effective, you're efficient, you are all the things. Let go of expectations, demands, comparisons. You don't need those, they don't serve you. causing 
maybe some self-inflicting doubt in your mind. <sighs> Pay attention to your feed. When you take out the trash, don't go check on it, right? Okay. <laughs> Little PSA. We have a five by five super set. This is our final five by five. We have a squat to a good morning, so I'll be using my sandbag. I forgot to mention that in the beginning. And alternating single arm swings. So for the swings, obviously the count is two equals one. So counting on one arm only. Getting this barbell out of the way. Grabbing my sandbag. That barbell is just too heavy for me to do a good morning with. Load it up. To your shoulders. Squat first, then good morning. That's one rep. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Unload. Again, these clean and presses count. Alternating single arm swings, I'm going with my 40. So still keep it in swing position. Hop away from that kettlebell to start. Swing to switch. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Set it up. Squat to good mornings. Round two. Get your footing. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Unload. Same arm swings. Round two. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Set it down. Round three. Load it up. Squat and good morning. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Unload. Sing long swings. One, two, three, four, five. All right, round four and five. We're gonna keep it as a five by five this round. Since we started with a natural five by five, we'll end with one. Technically true, we have a Tabata after this. And then you're done. One. Two. Three. Four. Swings, five reps. One, two, three, 
four, five. Final round. Load it up. Squat to good morning. I realize I did good morning first to last round, but it does not matter. Squat down. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Unload. Set it out of your way. Five single arm swings. One, two, three, four, five. Set it out of your way. All right, we have our final true Tabata. The only difference is it's going to seem like a Tabata pair because we're alternating between two pieces of equipment. We're using our barbell and our kettlebell. We're doing a deadlift, power clean, front box squat. So I'm going to go with my 60 pound kettlebell and my barbell, which is at 75. But in my opinion, the kettlebell is harder for this move. <laughs> it's just the weight distribution. So have yourself set up for success. My kettlebell's right there. So deadlift, power clean from your hang, and then box squat. I'm hitting start. Make sure your box is exactly where it needs to be for you to sit. Starting with my barbell. Three, two, one. So deadlift, power clean, box squat. Deadlift. So next round, we're going to the barbell. I'm going to try to move a little faster and get three full reps in. Kettlebells up. Deadlift. Power clean. Box squat. Deadlift. the barbell. Wipe the sweat out of your eyes. Let's go. Should be breathless, it's okay. You'll find that breath later. Your barbell. I know it's tough. You're tougher. Final round. 
down with both pieces of equipment. Let's go. faster. Do weighted squats. Do switch lunges. Do what works for you. But wipe the sweat out of your eyes because it burns, it burns. <laughs> Unlike the ginger armor, <laughs> does not burn, but my sweat does. So, let's get it started. We have 10 push-ups. You can take your gloves off. This is just body weight. 10 push-ups. Chest to the mat, even if you're modifying. One, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One box jump. Nine push ups. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Two box jumps. One, two, eight push ups. One, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Three box jumps. One, two, three, seven push ups. Shake it out. Stand up tall, shoulders down and back, chest to the mat. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Four box jumps. One, two, Four, six push ups. One, two, three, four, five, six. Five box jumps. One, two, Four, five, 
Five push-ups. One, two, three, four, five, six box jumps. One, two, three, four, Four push-ups. One, two, three, four. Seven box jumps. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven. Don't you do yourself now, you've got three push ups. One, two, three, eight box jumps. One, two, Four, five, six, seven, eight, two push ups. One, two, nine box jumps. One, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Last round. One push up. Ten box jumps like a boss. So let's go. One, two, three, four, five. Eight, nine, and ten. That was awesome. Thank you so much for trusting me with your time, for trusting me with your sweat. I appreciate it. I could not do this without you. I love you so much. Again, we did a review of Ginger Armor. And we hit every part of our body today. I love you guys so much. I will see you at the next workout.